Good morning, Tamina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, which is video number three on ratio, we will see different type of questions. The link of the first two videos is given in the description below. So we have already uh, got the understand gotten the understanding of what ratio is and how it is expressed. Right now we are seeing different types where ratio is applied. Gradually we will lead towards the word problem, real life problems. So this question, which of these ratios are equivalent to the ratio 1 is to 2? So what do you think? What will you do? Absolutely right. You will simplify each one of them and then you will see which one are equal to 1 is to 2. So if I start cancelling it, you can do it mentally also, but I want to ensure that I do not make any mistake. So I would like to follow the procedure. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4. So this is the first one which is equivalent to 1 is to 2. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So this is also equal to 1 is to 2. This one B. Uh, I will cancel it by the table of for example 4. 4 2 is 8. 4 3 is 12. So ratio is 2 is to 3 which is not equal to 1 is to 2 so not this one here 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 2 is 10 so again i am getting 1 is to 2 so there are these three ratios which are equivalent to 1 is to 2 now this is the question which is here is considered little i would say challenging but i believe in you that you can handle it okay so let's do it now when you have to give the ratio of this type of number x is to y is to z we will answer this question first and automatically we will get x is to z so whatever the ratios are coming at these two places will be my answer for here okay so my focus will be on this type x is to y is to z and how do you do it if you see in the given question x is to y is given to you let me change the color x is to y is given and y is to z is given so i will see that y is common in both so how will i write it to solve this question x is to y is to z okay because y is common then what will i write here first of all x is to y is 11 is to 8 this is i'm picking up from here okay now after that let me change the color please after that if i see y is to z is given which is 6 is to 7 so i have written x is to y and y is to z i picked it up from here now if y is common and i have to answer this question then y has to be same right now y is not same y is 8 and 6 how can i make it same any idea yes you are right i will multiply this by 6 and i will multiply this by 8 i am repeating if it is not understood to you because i have to make it same so i will multiply this line by this number and this line by this number so basically this multiplies and this multiplies okay so let's multiply 11 is to 8 by 6 so 6 11 is a 66 okay and 6 8 is a because i'm multiplying it by 6 6 8 is a 48 okay and then this 6 is to 7 I will multiply by 8 because I have just told you this will multiply this group and this will multiply this group. So I will multiply them by 8. So 6 8s are 48 and 8 7s are 56. Now do you notice that y is same which is 48. So let me raise all this and let me make a space here. So I have gotten here y same and this was the target for this question. The common 
number i mean the common letter should have the same number so i got it so i can write here if i see answer of part one which is x is to z because this is same so i can say it is 66 is to 57 66 is to 56 okay let me move this all outside from here okay now because it is ratio i will simplify it so i will cancel by the table of 2 2 3 is a 6 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 1 will come here 2 8 is a 16 now can i cancel it by any the table no so it will be 33 is to 28 and the answer of part 1 uh, part B will be what I got here it will be 66 is to 48 is to 56 and then you will simplify it right so I will cancel it by the table of 3 uh, can I um, okay 3 3 2 is a 6 no this this number cannot be cancelled by the table of 3 so i have to do it by the table of 2 okay so 2 3 is a 6 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 2 2 is a 4 2 8 is a 16 so now my ratio is 33 is to 24 is to 28 if you can further simplify you will if you cannot you will leave it here let's see another question of the same type now i will give you thinking time two minutes you can put the video on pause and try it then i'm explaining it here okay so now if i look at the question again a is to b is given and b is to c so b is a common letter so again i will write the way i wrote earlier a is to B is to C okay so now what is A is to B from the first line A is to B is 5 is to 7 what is B is to C 13 is to 10 right let me take a calculator otherwise I can make mistake in calculating just give me a second you can also grab your calculator meanwhile to avoid any but you are a student of your seven eight you are not allowed <laughs> but i can use it right anyway so because it is not same five and seven uh, sorry seven and thirteen which are the values of b ratios of b so i have to make it same what is the technique i told you you will multiply this by what 13 right and you will multiply this by what 7 right so 5 and 7 i will multiply by 13 so let's multiply here let me move it a bit up so that i have a space to write okay so i will multiply 5 and 7 by 13 so we simply simply if i tell you again because we have to make it same so this whole thing we multiply by this b and this whole thing will multiply by this b so it is of the other b's we take okay so i'm multiplying 5 and 7 by 13 so what is um just a minute what is 5 times 13 if you don't know by heart so you can multiply by like this okay so you can get it i'm just using calculator to make it a little faster but you will use it so 5 times 13 is 65 okay and 7 times 13 because i'm multiplying both of them by 13 so 7 times 13 will be what 91 now you will multiply this by 7 and this by 7 so it will be 91 because 7 times 13 or 13 times 7 will be 91 and 7 times 10 is 70 so you got at the end 65 
is to 91 is to 70 yes or no let me i got it like this and because 91 is same so i can write here this is my a b because b same and c so it is 65 is to 91 is to 70 and for this part i can write 65 is to 70 you know why i cannot just pick up uh, this value of a to write here and this value of c to write here do you know why absolutely right because y is not same i mean sorry b is not same right now when b is same then you can equate them okay so this is 70 now you will simplify 65 and 70 so you will cancel it by the table of 2 am i right or 5 5 is better because the last digit is 5 and 0 so you can do it let me make it a small to make a space here okay so i'm cancelling it by the table of 5 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 5 ones are 5 6 7 2 will go here 5 fours are 20 so i got here 13 is to 14 ratio similarly i will see if i can cancel this also of course i cannot cancel it by 5 because 91 is there in between so i have to think now mm -hmm. i don't see i can cancel it so i will leave it here as it is okay now next part now this question i'm leaving for you you can put the video on pause and i will very quickly solve it i will not explain here you can put the video on pause and try it and i'm very quickly solving it here okay so that you can tell your solution with my solution okay So my answer of x is to z is 10 is to 12 and answer of x is to y is to z is 10 is to 15 is to 12 and I will simplify it to 5 is 10 to 6 is 12 so ratio is 5 is to 6 and here again I cannot cancel because these two can go by the table of 2 this can go by 5 this can go by 3 but altogether they cannot go by any table right 2 3 4 5 no so it will remain like this so i hope you understood in the next video we will learn ratio of an amount that will be video 4 and you will find the link in the description below so i hope you understood it thank you very much for watching it please press